Okay, I said I really want to finish this up by 9 o'clock, and I said these were the last two questions. So if we can... Were, they, were you all just sitting down and I didn't see you? But yeah, we're sitting down in the aisle. Okay, then we'll first over we'll here. Her and then we'll, we'll Who, which one? The one at the end of the line. Okay. Well, let's do be, you then. They've been, they've been oh, waiting for a long time. Okay. First, all right. of all, first of all, I live over on West Street, so I have to thank you for your efforts over on West Street. I've been there for eight years, and I'm not moving. Um, we have people actually walking into our house in the day, in the night, everything else. Um, the main cause is because there's two buildings across the street that are uninhabited by business or by owner. One of the owners died, unfortunately, and the other one is owned by a lumber company here in town. And he has what I call his pets. And they're very nice and stuff. He pays to do little jobs in his brother. What can I do to stop this man who will not let you guys press charges, but hires a security company to run them off, but he doesn't say they can't be there? So these guys just keep returning. They're walking, they're coming across the street and into my yard and my house during the broad daylight. There's quite a bit that we can do because we put pressure on landlords and, and owners from a business responsibility perspective. And sometimes when you call the landlord and say, we have a problem at this location, it's different than getting a letter from the police department. So from a community policing perspective, like we're working with Jason, we're working with people like you in those communities. So Lieutenant Heston's probably going to start hiding over there because he's my reference point. But if you can go talk to Lieutenant Heston and give him the address and stuff that we're talking about, we'll get an officer assigned to that as a community policing project. And I will tell you that the Reading Police Department has opened and closed about 120 community policing projects, both small and large, in the last two years. So we will take it seriously. We will get it signed to somebody and see what we can do to get that addressed, both from our perspective and a code enforcement perspective. Um, and try to utilize all the city resources to address those. So if you can give that address and, and get with Lieutenant Heston, we'll have an officer get a hold of you and start that project. I've never not had a response. And the business I manage has been broken into, like the front door smashed through twice in the last month. And you guys, I have to compliment you. I know it's frustrating, and I just thank you for the job that you do. Thank you, ma'am.